up guys, Andrew Cruzy here. And in this video, we're gonna build your financial tracking dashboard. But I wanna show you first, I've created this thing called the Human OS that tracks everything from my daily winning formula to my morning journal, to absolutely everything, to reflections, all of that stuff. And I'm gonna show you how I'm building it out inside of here, which also has my identity, my values, boom, all that stuff. Uh, my fitness tracking, which I'm traveling in Europe right now, so I'm slacking a little bit, um, and all my travel in one place as well. It's pretty cool. So also, um, you can put your finances in here too. So what I'm going to do is go to data, where I pulled over some dummy data right here for all the uh, automated financial tracking. If you want to model this and take the date, uh, how much, uh, what account, what vendor, uh, the notes, all that stuff. You can, categories, all of that. Um, but I'm going to put this into a, uh, uh, a dashboard right now. So to get started on building your financial tracking dashboard, you want to open up a new interface. Just click that in the upper left. Feel free to pause and follow along as I'm building this out because I can build out an Airtable system in 30 minutes that would take other people about three months. So uh let's go and do bank boom let's call this the financial os suite and i'm going to hit next and i'm going to use a dashboard right here next and then pull from that dummy data all transactions that's great so now we got our dashboard in here and what uh i might want to put up at the top is a title and let's put in a bank. You can use control command spacebar for those emojis. And let's just call it the financial OS for right now. And I'm gonna take out this pivot table, boom, right here. And I'm gonna add in a list. So I hit that plus button, add a list. And I wanna sort this list by date. So I can see the most recent at the top. So I'm gonna pull date and latest from there. So we're all good to go there. We can see the latest transactions. I'm going to turn this from small to large over here so we can expand it. And let's see what I might want to see up at the top is, uh, boom, let's put in a money emoji. And let's say income this month. And if I just want to pull by income this month, I'm going to filter it. And I'm going to choose here a date is within this calendar month. And then what I'm going to do is choose the USD is greater than zero. Let's flip that around. And we have 17 transactions there. And I'm going to pull from summary and add in USD and make it a sum. So boom, that's the income we're seeing on the month. And I'm going to turn this to green and turn underlying transactions on. So I can see all those underlying transactions. So here's all the income, boom, right there. And let's turn on a background color, make it green. I can duplicate this easily and say, uh, let's say fly and expenses this month. And I'm gonna make this red. So I'm gonna click on the color and I'm gonna flip this carrot around and uh, do that number. Now, there is probably something we need to do here with the uh, uh, transfers. So I'll show you that by the end of the video so these numbers are correct. And we can also boom, duplicate this and number of transactions this month. I wanna use a count and I want to take this out and boom, uh, <clears throat> number of transactions. Cool, get that, make it gray, beautiful. So then we can go in here 
and let's say um, money, boom, uh, number of, or uh, let's say income by day, by day this month. So now we can create beautiful charts and graphs based on the date here. And we can filter this by the date is within this calendar month. Boom. And then we want to make this a sum. Go to the Y axis and use USD and sum by day. And we can also, actually, this is pretty good. Um, income and expenses, boom, by day this month. And then we can see this and see this, boom, beautiful. Let's open this up. Transaction details allow and see all of that. And we're starting to get a pretty good dashboard right here. So if I hit publish, <clears throat> boom, we'll be able to see by day this month, boom, what's gone out, what's come in, and all of that stuff right there. So this is great. So what I might want to do also is use a filter function. Let's see if we can grab the drop down from it's just the date here. So there's some optimizations that we can make. Boom. But that's a very basic version one of the financial OS and financial dashboard. This will also show up on your mobile as well. Um, if you want to go deeper on this, feel free to follow us in the school community um, or feel free to book in a call to optimize your systems because we don't rise to the level of our goals. We fall to the level of our systems. That's about it for this one. Hope it was helpful. I'll talk to you in the next one.